My name is Buddy Panilag. I'm a Filipino and a Christian. I just want to ask doctor regarding this uh, Mariam. Mariam gave birth to Jesus, right? I just want to know if it is mentioned in Quran, how was Jesus given to Mariam? Is it mentioned in Quran? That's all, doctor. Our Christian Filipino brother has asked a very good question. He wants to know about Mariam al -Salam. How did she give birth to Isa al -Salam? And what does the Quran speak about that? Yeah. Brother, if you read the Quran, there is a full chapter called as Surah Maryam. Chapter by the name of Mary. Mary, Who yeah. was the mother of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If you read the Bible, out of the 73 books of the Bible, out of all the 63 books of the Bible, there is no book by the name of Mary or Maryam. Y yes, 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 yes. There is no. But if you read the Quran, if you read the Quran, there is a chapter by the name of Maryam, that is Mary, the mother of Isa alayhi salam. And the Quran says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 42, it says, Wa iskalatil malaikatu ya Maryamu. Behold the angel said of Mary, Inna Allah stafaki wa taharaki wa stafaki sala alami. That we have chosen thee and purified thee and chosen thee above the women of all nations. Imagine this verse of the Quran was revealed to an Arab. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen a Jewish woman. A woman above all the other women. And purified her. You know, actually it is bad marketing. The Jews were against the Arabs. And the audience of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam were Arabs. Now Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying that Almighty God has chosen a Jewish woman. Maryam alayhi salam. Mother Mary, as a woman above all the other women. This is what the Quran says. Women above the all nations. But this is a revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has no option. It is not his words. It is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That whatever is revealed to him, he has to believe. Furthermore, if you read in Surah Imran chapter 3, verse number 43, 44, 45, you come to verse number 47. It says, the main question that you ask, what does it speak about the birth of Isa alayhi salam? It says that when Archangel Gabriel, in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 47, comes to Maryam and says that you shall give birth to a son. So she says that how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? Similarly, if you read in the Bible, a similar incident says that how shall I have a son when I know it no man? Knoweth no man means she does not know any man. Knoweth no man here means not knowing. It means knowing sexually. We understand the language of the Bible. When Maryam alayhi salam says in the Bible, I know it no man means does not know any man sexually. When the Quran says that no man has touched me, it doesn't mean physical touch, it means sexual touch. That no man has touched me. But then the Quran continues. Izaq iza amran. That when Allah decrees a matter, fayakun. Allah says be and it is. When Allah decrees a matter, He says be and it is. So Allah says, when Almighty God willed that she should give birth to a son, it takes place. Kun fayakun. Be and it is. So the birth of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a miraculous birth. It was a miraculous birth. There was no male intervention. That's why we believe that Isa alayhi salam was born miraculously without any male intervention. Further when you go, in Surah Maryam, chapter number 19, verse number 28 to 32 onwards, when Mary, Maryam al -Salam, when she has the child, the newborn, Isa alayhi salam in the hand, people start alleging. They start insinuating her. And they tell her, that how come you have the son? You come from the family of Harun alayhi salam, from Aaron. How can you do such a low thing, trying to insinuate her that she did adultery? The people started insinuating her that this woman, without marriage, she had a child, insinuating that she did adultery. She was speechless, she could not reply. Immediately, 
Isa alayhi salam from the arms of his mother. He replies and says that I am a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He protects his mother and he replies, I have been sent as a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give glad tidings on you. Now the first miracle done by Isa alayhi salam in the Quran is he speaks when you are the infant, few days old, he speaks from the mother's arm. The first miracle done in the Bible is, if you read your Bible, that when there was a party and all the wine gets over, so the host is worried, there's no wine for the people. So Isa alayhi salam says, get water and he converts water into wine. That was the first miracle. In the Quran, first miracle was, he protects his mother and he supports his mother and speaks on behalf of the mother when he was in the arm of his mother, just when he was born. So this is how the Quran respects Maryam alayhi salam and uplifts her and calls her as the best woman amongst all the nations. No such title is given in the Bible. That's the reason I say we respect and love Maryam alayhi salam more than the Christians. We love and respect Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ more than the Christians. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, Doctor.